What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. I'm back with part two. Wait a minute, though. Daniel Taylor decides to wild tip tone a little bit, going all the way downfield for a 69 yard touchdown on the first play of the game. That's how we do it. But I'm back with part two of this Madden 16 wish list. And I'm talking about three main points what I like to see, what I don't like seeing. And I'm going to start it off quick. And the fact that I'm going to just name these running backs. You know what I'm saying? Steven Jackson, Peyton Hillis, LeGarrette Blunt. Le'Veon Bell, Eddie Lacy. I'm going to say Brandon Jacobs. Even though he's retired, I'm going to say Brandon Jacobs. You could have, and any fullback is actually big, you could have these people, these big running backs, running with the ball. They can get smacked by anybody on the defense, no matter what size the defensive player is or anything like that. For example, I played Madden a long, long, long time. Got a lot of games in. Got Steven Jackson on the Falcons in the franchise mode. I'm running the ball. I'm facing the Chargers. It can happen against any team. I'm facing the Chargers. Eric Weddle comes up and sends Steven Jackson five yards backwards by himself. Now, I'm not. That's definitely unrealistic. That needs. To, I don't think that can happen. In real life, Steven Jackson was one of the biggest running backs in the league. Eric Weddle, he might, I'm not saying he's weak, I'm not saying he's a bad player, but he's not going to hit stick Steven Jackson to the point where Steven Jackson is falling on his back five yards from where contact was. It's definitely not happening. There needs to be something like an advantage, you know what I'm saying? An advantage between small players and an advantage to, to, to tall players and to big players, you know? Um, I can create a, a six foot three running back that's 250 pounds, and if I put his speed and his agility all the way up, he can do the exact same moves as the, the smaller running backs. And I don't think that should be allowed, you know what I'm saying? If I create that type of running back, he should be able to that should he should not be able to move like these Giovanni Bernard or something like that. He shouldn't be able to move like, move like him. He maybe has a move that he can do, but exactly like Giovanni Bernard, no, 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 shouldn't happen. But it does though. I, LeGarrette Blunt, on the other, I can if if you try to tackle one of these guys in real life, when did, I can't remember the last time I in the playoff run the Patriots had, I don't remember the last time I seen somebody hit LeGarrette Blunt, uh, wrap him up and take him down by by themselves without grabbing his feet or grabbing his legs or something like that it just doesn't happen because he's too big you know what i'm saying in madden though he can run up the middle get body slammed by a cornerback like richard sherman or something get hit stick by earl thomas and he's five yards in the backfield he gets sent flying he, he can fumble off of a hit stick and he gets injured and stuff there's just no the the weight and height does not matter about anything in madden you know what I'm saying? You can get mossed by Percy Harvin while 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 Mike uh, Mike Evans can't catch anything. You know what I'm saying? Um, and it goes the same. It's so like weird because Jaquiz Rogers, he he can't run people over, but I feel like he runs in Madden that he runs people over more than Steven Jackson. It's very weird. I don't I don't understand it. They need to add a whole new tackling system for for running backs that are bigger and for people that. You, Gronk, you can tackle Gronk single-handedly with a cornerback in Madden. That should not be able to happen. That It should not be able to happen. You know what I'm saying? It's just not realistic enough to play. You know, I like playing Madden, but that stuff is just not realistic. You know what I'm saying? Um, The second thing that I wanted to talk about was the plays in Madden. Now, I thought about going back on the NCAA 14. This is The one reason I was mad they wasn't going to make another one was because that means that creative plays and unique formations, um, they, they, there was going to be no more of that in uh, the EA Sports uh, football games. You know, in Madden, the plays... Let me... For the Atlanta Falcons playbook, for example, has been the same for about three years. 
The only big change that I can remember is that they took out the single back, the full house formation. And I know this year that they have the I form Twins Flex. That was the, the, the biggest change I've seen in the Atlanta Falcons playbook. Now, this year, they all, they added in a whole bunch of new formations. Um, the Denver Broncos got updated playbook. The Eagles got one. Uh, the, the Panthers got some. And it's just, it's very like, oh, man. It, it's like you watch the NFL, you see the Falcons in pistol, but in Madden, there's no pistol formations in their playbook. You know what I'm saying? It's like, oh. I guess that's like realistic. You feel me? Like it's not at all. You know, I would like to see a pistol trips formation and all this other stuff. And it's not just the Falcons; it's plays in the NFL that don't exist in Madden. There's a play. I don't. Rem was it? It it was this season. I, I can't remember. The Seahawks had a a. It was an option play from of death. Like they they. It's an option to hand it to Marshawn Lynch or. The, the option that Russell Wilson could keep it or the option that Russell Wilson can roll out with it and then pass it to the wide receiver for a touchdown. They did it, I think it was the Packers they did it against. And it was a regular read option with Marshawn Lynch but and uh, Russell Wilson. But instead of Russell Wilson just running out, and there was another option that was going downfield, like he can pass the ball. <laughs> like he can pass the ball downfield if the cornerback came up to, to tackle him or if the cornerback went back to guard the receiver he would just run the ball and something like that would be great to use in Madden it, it had a whole, whole other thing to stop but it's like the only thing that is worth stopping like the pistol bunch tight end the counters and stuff like that it's it's the only thing that you have to set up a entire defense for like you have to set up plays that, that when people call this formation they call this play you got to call this exact play to stop this formation or, they, or, the, or their play their offensive play that's the only it's only like two a couple of formations and plays that you have to do that every other one out of like it's more than more than 50 it has to be more than 50 formations in this game but every other one that's not pistol bunch and they don't have counters in them and don't have this. There is just base basics. You stop that with cover three. Four four three or three four anything. You know what I'm saying? You can stop any of those plays with, with, with something simple. And it's like it's like Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? I'm not really haven't played Call of Duty in a while, but I remember at least in Black Ops, the first one, if you had a whole bunch of guns and one gun was better than all the rest. Everybody would just use that one good gun, you know what I'm saying? And they would put out patches and stuff to level the playing field out. But that does not happen in Madden. If, if the pistol bunch tight end is the best formation, then it's the best formation for this entire year, you know what I'm saying? Um, which sucks because I don't feel like using the pistol bunch tight end formation. You know, I don't feel like using counters like I'm doing now. I'm doing it now because this, this, I got to run the ball. I got to get yards. You know what I'm saying? I can't just do anything and not get no yards. But I'm, if you see me in the videos, I've used a single back ace formation to start off the game in every single video. And in this one, it, I took it to the house because the counter is one of like the best run plays in this game. And I can understand if every playbook had its own unique formation that was like, that was unstoppable, I guess, if you had to plan for it. But, you know, that would be great, you know, because then you, you got to plan for all this other stuff. But it, now it's just you plan for this one formation and everything else you, you don't need to know about it. It doesn't really matter. You call anything, you stop it. You know what I'm saying? If you call anything, you can't stop the pistol bunch tight end. Which is, it brings us to another point. I, could, I really wanted the Madden to, to bring back creative formation and creative play. What, that right now for me I, I really wanted it because I just finished playing high school football and I really wanted to put if I had the option to create a play I would put my high school offense in Madden and I'll use it and I'll kick on people online you know what I'm saying it's very they have to add a, a whole nother have a set defenses to stop stuff you know what I'm saying if every you know what I'm saying it's like you have to have a set defense you know to stop certain plays, to stop the counters and stuff. 
stop great passing plays. There's certain defense to stop them, but if every playbook does not have a great passing play or, or a great running play, then then um you don't you only need one set defense. And if you ever see them using a great pass play, great run play, then you know all right, I got to go to here. And that's it. And you stop them for the rest of the game, and it's over for that. You feel me? Like that's how it goes. You know. But I would definitely like to see the creative play option. The only problem I can see with that is like glitches and stuff where you got five wide receivers on one side of the field or whatever. But that's like, man, they can fix that on their own. I don't know. I would definitely love to see that in Madden again. It would definitely bring uniqueness to, to playbooks, to creative playbooks. Because if, if that was in Madden, I would definitely put the flex bone. I would create the flex bone, the wish bone. All these wildcat formations that's in NCAA, I would definitely bring them over to Madden and use them in my offense. But I just don't feel like going to unplug my Xbox One and plug in the 360 to play NCAA. It's too much work just for a couple of plays and too much work for that. So they could just, they could just put them in Madden. It definitely spice up the game. You can do do you. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to copy you, do the same thing as everybody else. You can finally do you, do what you like in Madden. If everything worked, if they don't change the defense and they have every offensive play working, it'd be great. Games would be like 70 to 70, and I would have fun playing Madden. You know what I'm saying? I could score a lot, and it'd be easy. You know what I'm saying? But it's not like that. It's only one play that works. <laughs> But this video is coming to an end, man. So always remember, in the street we trust, I'm out.